Another icon review is coming your way and in this one we are reviewing the 86 rated base icon Pavel Nedved. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now this is the side we're going to be using him in but we're going to use him in a variety of different positions. Now in the past I've used Nedved as a cam and he's been really really good there so we are going to be initially trying him out in that role. In game we're going to switch to the 4 2 3 1 and he's going to play centrally but we're also going to play him on the left edge as well and I'm considering even giving him a go as a striker because he just looks like he could do a job in that position but uh, for the most part he's going to be playing cam and wide left attacker so let's have a look at the card shall we five star weak foot absolutely brilliant to see that just really helps out with any player in the game four star skill moves also a big positive as well as the high medium work rates and um, in terms of traits there really isn't anything to discuss other than early crosser but um in terms of in-game stats there is plenty to like there are plenty of very very good attributes on this page and um, the pace looks very nice and um, comes into 90 and with the hunter chem style he's technically got 99 pace so let's see if he feels like that in game and um, shooting looks pretty solid good finishing and decent shot power hopefully once more the hunter chem style will help out in those areas passing also looks very well rounded good short passing of 86 long passing of 85 and good crossing of 84 and the same can be said for the dribbling department 88 in-game dribbling 86 agility 87 balance all looking very very nice and even physically he's got some positive stats nice stamina of 89 and good strength and aggression for a pacey winger like his strength and aggression aren't anything amazing but for a pacey wide man and um, they're pretty good so hopefully he can hold his own when running down the wing all in all, I think this card looks really, really good. So I'm hoping it performs as well as these stats are making me think it will. So let's get in some games and let's try them out. So in Nedved's debut, we come up against this. It's your typical foot champs backline of Mendy, Varane and Joe Gomez. So uh, a pretty good defence to uh, attempt to break down there. His attack also is pretty lethal with Mo Salah and uh, Ansu Fati, who are both very, very pacey. And of course, Inaki Williams is uh, going to cause us some trouble too. Pape slides it through, it's a good run from Nedved and it's a good finish as well. That's one positive of that weak foot. You can go on either foot, you can go first time with just full confidence and that's exactly what we did there. And then Nedved has put us 1-0 up with a nice run off the back of Mbappe. Nedved holds up the ball, gets it to Mbappe. Needs some support, we still need some support, someone will make a run. Oh, Nedved's done so well. Come with the ball, it's tight angle, oh he's hit the post, unlucky. Nice, Nedved works the ball out to Lucas. We will whip that in early to Mbappe and we'll score as well. And we've got our lead restored. Right, Mbappe has done so well to keep the ball. Nedved pokes it through for Lucas. Lucas will return it to Nedved, who's going to try and get the shot away, but he's, he's held off well there by the very OP Joe Gomez. Chance, Lucas whips it in. Chance for Nedved. Oh, what a finish that is. I actually didn't expect that to go in in the slightest, but um, Nedved with just the... The tiniest of touches on that puts it past the keeper. And after that goal, my opponent decides to get out of there. So um, a very strong debut from Nedved. Um, scored a really, really nice goal in that game. So a uh, very positive opening display. Another foot champs match. Another Joe Gomez and Varane to contend with. Uh, my opponent's actually got a really good team with some pretty good reds. So uh, I'm a bit worried about this game. Um, he could be pretty decent. So it uh, could be a pretty big test for the icon Pavel. Nice from Nedved there, closing down, making the defensive read. Nice. Good ball in behind. Mbappe's got onto it. Oh, I pressed shoot, but he just. Ah, oh, fake shot instead. Mbappe. Nedved link up here. That's a great ball from Nedved. Puts Mbappe into a bit of space. We've got a chance now. He's moving his keeper a bit and read that all the way. Well, it's half time and it's a 2 1 score and plenty of work to be done in the second half. As you can see, we're having to do a lot of defending. Um, so, uh, yeah, just got to get the ball. Just got to get the ball and uh, see what we can do with it. I mean, it would, of course, help if my opponent stopped passing around the back every five minutes. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we can still somehow get possession and uh, get the ball in the back of their net. First time pass from Nedved. Puts Mbappe in behind, but there isn't many options in the box. He's been knocked over and he's actually got a penalty. Nedved steps up, down the middle, and it's free. No, it's not on my own, it's not free. It's 2-2, two -two. we've pulled it back. Chance to possibly break now. Nedved doesn't have the most pace, so we're going to have to hand this ball off to Lucas. Gets it to Nedved, who pokes it through 
for Mbappe, who has a chance. Oh, what a goal. What a finish from Mbappe as well. I was very worried about that shot, but um, he's just so good. Near post shot and a great assist from Nedved. Ah, unfortunately, we lose that game four goals to three. Um, pretty close game, and I think it was one of them that on another day I could have won, but on another day could have lost as well. So, uh, yeah, there is that. Decent opponent there, so uh, I'm not too annoyed by it. Um, Nedved, once again, was pretty decent. Obviously, especially in the first half, we were pretty limited with the ball that we had, but um, when we got on the ball a bit more in the second half, Nedved really did show his class, so uh, happy with that second half out in the spike coming away with a loss. Okay, let's attempt to get back to winning ways, and we're going to be doing that against this. It's a very, very solid team, which has the brand new Road to the Final Masawa on the wing, and um, just a very pacey attack in general with Mane as well. Um, I don't actually know what formation he's going to play in game. Surely something with two strikers, and then Firmino and it can. Um, I'd imagine Salah and Mane are up front, so uh, yeah, good side, and a really good back line as well. There's an interesting chance. Nedved's actually come central for this bit here. Put the ball through. Oh, Mbappe's got on the end of it, but he's gone a bit too wide. That was a fantastic through ball from Nedved coming in off the wing there. Mbappe is going to flick this out wide to Pavel Nedved, who's got the chance to whip it in. And he does exactly that. And what a save that is from Allison. Wow. don't know how Mbappe, I mean, um, Ben Yedder has come away with that ball there. But now Nedved has got plenty of space to run into. Pavel Nedved does put the ball on the inside. Oh, what has Lucas done there? Shot way too early. But we do eventually get a shot, and that what a finish from Mbappe. That wasn't even timed, but it looked like it was the way it went off his foot. Here we go. Nedved, chance to break. Goes up top to Lucas. Oh, can Lucas keep it in? Oh, just not quite. It was a fantastic idea. Nice, good bit of link up. And once again, Nedved free down this left edge. And there's plenty of space as well for him coming sad. And he does exactly that, and he's unlucky with the finish. And it's just cleared off the line. Bingetta plays the ball in behind, and Nedved has stolen it, but Van Dyke does come across. And yeah, you're probably not going to be beating Van Dyke with anyone, to be honest. Well, half time has come about, and we have ourselves a 1 0 lead at the break. It's been a very tight game, to be honest. My opponents definitely had more possession, but we've been a bit more decisive when we've had it. We've pushed forward a bit more and attacked a bit more. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can stay solid for the second 45. Nedved gets it on to Ansu Fati. Who, oh, he's hit the post. What a horrible time to hit the post. I've been constantly smacking that post all night long. It's very frustrating. Well, it's time for the ultimate test of uh, Nedved's stamina because uh, we're going into extra time. Here's a chance. Can Nedved find the right pass for Mane? He's put it on the inside. Mane is now through with an opportunity. Left-footed strike. Good save by Allison. Bappe puts it over the top. Here's a chance. Can Nedved get on the end of it? Not quite. Van, D Van Dijk, sorry, too strong. That's game over. We get the win. We get the 3-2 victory in extra time. We put Nedved to Cam in the second half. And uh, he did a really good job in that role, helping out with our attacks once more. No goals or assists to his name in this game, but he was involved in the build-up, which is what you want from your creative mid. Well, now we've had some games with Nedved, it's time to review his performances. And ultimately, I don't think he's a particularly amazing left mid, but I do think he's a brilliant attacking midfielder. In the camera role, he just excelled for me. I really did like him in that position. Don't get me wrong, he's, he's an alright winger, but um, he's certainly better in that camera role. So if you're going to use him, I do advise you to use him centrally, especially this variant of Nedved. Um, I liked his pace, obviously in game he felt quick. Yeah, he did have a Hunter Kemp style to help him out, but... Um, yeah, happy with his pace in match. Um, I thought his shooting was up to a decent standard. He's not like super clinical or anything like that, but because he's got that five star weak foot, you've got the option off of either foot, which is really nice. His shot power was good and his finishing was up to a decent standard. As I say, not super clinical, but to be honest, probably could do a job as a second striker. So uh, something to consider there. I actually really liked his positioning. He just got into some really good areas for me, especially in that cam roll. Supported other play as well and uh, just got himself into good bits of space. So very happy with his off-the-ball movement. Um, distribution, another strong area for this card. Once again, that five-star weak foot comes in to help out. Um, left foot, right foot, you can do either to distribute, which is nice. His short passing game was good. His through balls were nice. And uh, probably should have had more assists to his name, to be honest. And also his deliveries from out wide were also to a good standard. 
Um, and then the same, to be fair, can be said about the dribbling. Once more, pretty good. Uh, I like the ball control, I like the dribbling, I like the agility. He just felt good with possession, to be honest. So, uh, very happy there. And then physically, it's, it's just more of the same. His stamina held up well. We saw him go to extra time and he was all right. Um, his strength and aggression, although they aren't amazing, they're good enough to battle a decent amount with the average players. Obviously, strong fullbacks, uh, centre-backs, sorry, are going to knock him off the ball, but that's the case for most players. But um, all in all, an absolutely brilliant cast. And in my opinion, doesn't really have a particular standout negative. That's not to say that he's like amazing and like an outstanding card or anything, but he just doesn't suck at anything, which is actually quite nice. It's like his dribbling is pretty good. It's not excellent, but it's pretty good. And the same can be said about his shooting. Not excellent, but pretty good. And I like that. And uh, in terms of value for money, I think 500k for a card like this is pretty good. So um, all in all, very happy with this card. And as I say, as a cam, I think he excels in that role. He is a very, very good central attacking mid. So um, definitely a card to consider. I really enjoyed using him. Um, definitely looking forward to using his prime card when that comes out as well, because I've really enjoyed that in previous FIFAs. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the 86 rated Pavel Nedved. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Comment below your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one.